What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Parasite episode 18. Um, last time. What did happen last time? Oh, Ryoko and her baby. That is right. So, Ryoko said she had something to give to Shinichi. Mm, the, <coughs> the PI steals Ryoko's baby. Oh, okay. First, she has a fight with all those parasites. She wins. She's able to, like, separate a part of herself off and invade their bodies and, like, kind of kill them from the inside. And then, oh, she also puts on that, like, crazy act. Pfft, false sense of security to them. And then, yeah, she was just smart as shit. Anyway, don't underestimate her. Then her baby is stolen by the PI, and she goes to get the baby from him. She kills him, and he almost gives up Shinichi's name. Thankfully, he didn't. Um, but he gave a good description. They're going to be able to narrow that down pretty easily. Uh, and then now she's meeting up with Shinichi and she has something to give him. I guessed or theorized that it was the baby because she was having this, like... I feel like she was having this, like, inner struggle with, should I keep the baby or not? Like, what's best for the kid? Which, at first, I don't think she really gave a shit what was best for the kid, but I kind of feel like that's where she was coming from because she felt kind of hurt when he said... It's not even really your child. It's human. You're a parasite. She she was she was taken aback by that. It stung. And so, I don't know if that's... Because she was, like, at his house, like, looking at his family pictures and shit. So maybe she thinks the baby is better off with a human. It would definitely be in a lot less danger, I would say. But, then again, maybe that's not where she's coming from at all. Maybe she's giving him something else. Some information of some sort. I don't know. Because she's questioning her purpose and, and all that shit. So maybe she wants to, like, be Team Shinichi. I don't know. Like, let's kill all the parasites. They're horrible for this. I don't... For this planet or for the hum, humans. I don't... She constantly says don't underestimate humans. So maybe she's starting to see the value in them is kind of how I feel about it. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, uncut early access up on patreon before they're on youtube yes sign up for the patreon then link for that's in the description below so please check that out and sign up to support the channel and uh yeah let's jump into the reaction guys let's see i mean what's she gonna do with this baby hmm. so what hmm Oh my fucking god. Oh. Shit. Mm. Uh, but we choose not to. Mm. Well, it's like asking a human, do you want to eat fucking candy and, and, and cake and shit? Or you want to give it up and just eat carrots the rest of your life? You know what I mean? Or like tofu instead of real meat. Food source, what? Two halves of the same whole? Huh? No, you're not. What? Maybe we created them, I don't know. Hmm. You would have been dead by now. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shit. Kinda, yeah. She, like, wants to help you, but- But don't- But don't kill us. Don't be too rough on us, but- I, I don't- uh, She wants him to be sympathetic, or what? Like, don't kill the good ones? <clears throat> Uh, well, if he didn't give your name before, he might as well have. Fuck.
Never would have made a connection. Wouldn't have thought much of it. What are you going to do, bro? Don't even start some shit. Because you sure as fuck will not be able to end it. I'm just telling you right now. Not that one. Do not fuck with that bitch. Do not. She probably doesn't want to have to kill them. Please, just don't. They're not equipped to deal with her. <laughs> oh. She's playing that shit up. She's acting the part. For sure. But... I love this. They're so sure. Oh, they're questioning it. Did he miss? Did he hit her in the head? Headshot. Ooh, shit. Ooh. Damn, that is so cool. Ooh, <laughs> fuck. He might get involved to save the to save the baby. Oh, is she gonna protect the kid? She is. She is, dude. Why? Why? What is it about? I want to know if she cares about it, or is this still just an experiment to her? Fuck! I need to know. I need to know. Wow. Is she gonna hand the baby over to her? To him? Sorry. No. Take the baby. Why? Because of the baby? I need to know what it is. Oh? She closed her eyes? Oh, you bitch. You did not. That's his mom. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's gonna... No, it should... I thought it would make him mad. A mother trying to protect her child. That's what it's about. She's gonna hand that baby over. Guarantee it. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. What purpose? What is it? I need to know, bitch. You have to decide it for yourself. So what do you think it is? Oh, the music. Fuck, we got it both in. Mm-hmm. Ah, who was in my comments on Patreon? Who was it? Was it Sebastian? Was it Sebastian or was it Swan? I can't remember. It was one of you guys. You told my ass last episode. I don't think that's what it is. Praise me. Tell me I'm amazing. Bow down to me. I am your fucking goddess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, again, motherfucker Lexi strikes again. Oh. Oh shit, I fucking called it, bro. You guys really have me questioning myself, though. That one comment, I was immediately like, oh, am I wrong? Did I? No. Wait, am I? Did I read into this completely wrong? Did I really? Did I really? Did I really? Did I really? Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I knew it, bro. I fucking knew it. Ooh. You know, what am I going to put in the title this time? <laughs> called it again. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Wow, I'm so proud of her. See? See? They have the capacity for, like, humanity. Oh, for compassion and shit, all that. Everything a human is capable of feeling, so are they. 
Aww. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, no. I actually feel really bad that... Dude, shit, I have chills. Oh, oh my god. She didn't fight back at all. Migi. Migi, this shit's gonna happen to you, I'm telling you. You already showed that you cared about Shinichi. You were defensive of him. Earlier episode. With the P.I., he defended him. Not out of... Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. The song, man. Shit. Stop. <laughs> If only, man. <laughs> wow, what a fucking moment. Holy shit, what a fucking moment. <laughs> really, bro, that was good writing. I like that. He's crying! Oh! <laughs> My tears are! Are you back? My tears are. He was so distraught over that for so long that he couldn't cry. That loss of his humanity, he was so scared. Oh, Shinichi, I'm so happy for you. See? It was there all along. It was there all along, kid. They're complex, these parasites, I'm telling you. I wonder if he's gonna be a bit more compassionate when dealing with them from, from now on. We got six episodes after this. Crazy. So what is this? Are they? Did he? Did he come up? Was he honest about like being part parasite? Are they testing him? New character. Oh, he looks crazy as shit. <laughs> what are you gonna have him test Shinichi? Are you gonna have them in the same room? What is he, just like a murderer? He was a criminal, he was in prison, but he could also sense the parasites, so they're they're using him. Mm, I hope he's gone. He needs to fall asleep right now. <laughs> oh. You are kind, oh. So he is a parasite, what the fuck is this? Or he's just someone who can sense them. See, Shinichi's not gonna give anything away, I don't think, but he's gonna be able to tell right away. It's a weak signal, but it's there. Oh, now I can't remember. Was it that when she, when he's asleep, was the signal weak when he's asleep? Or was it all weak when he's awake because he's not, he hasn't fully taken him over? Oh, I can't remember now. Either it's not there or it's weak, something like that. <gasps> Ew, you're disgusting! Ew! Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. No, he's just a hentai. Ugh. Mm -mm. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh my god. What would they do with you? He is. <laughs> this guy, as soon as he wakes up and sees him, he's gonna be like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he's such an asshole. He's disgusting. Yep, look at his face. Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, he's intense as shit right now. <gasps> uh oh. Fuck. Dude, his face! Ew. Oh, it's over 
far fuck away. Ah, oh, it's over. Dude, his face, bro. His face. Hang on, let's see if I can mimic it. Hang on, let's see. Okay, wait. Oh, I gotta adjust myself. I can't do it. My hair's gonna be in the way. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm making my eyes too big. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. I have to make it more dramatic. <laughs> anyway. Damn, that guy was intense as shit at the end, though. Like, man. Shinichi. I don't know, my guy. I don't know. Um, I knew it was going to happen. Like, as soon as they came into contact, he was going to be able to tell. And he got so serious. Like, instantly serious. Like, he freaked out if it was hypothetically a parasite you know but like as soon as the possibility like came into that room he was just straight business like he didn't freak out at all i thought even if like if you were that freaked out about a possible parasite i would think you'd be a little unnerved when it's someone uh who has your ability that shares your ability but no i mean he was cool calm and collected laser focused on his ass it's scary. I mean, I'm worried for Shinichi because then again, I, I don't want to worry too much because if, if they find out like he was the one who was working with the PI, then maybe they'll want to make use of him. Oh, we have a parasite who hasn't fully taken over the whole spotty. Like they are, or at least half of him wants to kill all their parasites. But the thing is, Migi may want to rebel or try to get them away from there or out of it, whatever. But in that situation, I kind of feel like you're backed into a corner. What other choice do you have other than to go along with their plans? Although, even if they sent them out on a mission, like, fully thinking that they're going to cooperate, if Migi saw an opportunity where they could get away, he would force Shinichi to run away. Like, they can't 100% depend on Migi to stay loyal to them. He cares about his own survival, and that's about it. Like, Ern should say, his survival is number one. At all costs, he's going to survive. So, they need to worry about that. Because they really want to have him work together with them. And I just don't think that is going to happen. Not unless, I said, like I said, they're backed into a corner and they have no other choice. And I don't see them getting out of this, like, scot-free. I really feel like they're going to, they're going to know. Like, there's no way they're not going to figure it out. This guy, <laughs> this guy just gave you guys away. He ratted you out instantly. Just by reacting like that, he ratted you out. Um, but then you have that moment, <laughs> I'm sorry, when he, <laughs> he jacked off to that lady, that was disgusting, but it was kind of funny, it was so unexpected, like, what the fuck, I should have expected it, he is loony, um, <laughs> anyway, so then you have that moment with, uh, Ryoko and Shinichi, and he hated her, he's like, that look, just that look, the way you look at me. I don't know what look he's talking about. I don't know what it says to him. That look, that look. Like, what what, what does it say to you, Shinichi? What is so irksome about it, you know? Does she look at you like you're lesser than or something like that? Like you're a meal? Like you're a toy or a plaything? Is that what you mean? What do you mean? What look? Like she's sizing... Oh, just scratch my face. Like, she's, like, sizing you up. Yep, you're gonna definitely see a red spot, like, right around there in a little bit. Um, but anyway, moving on from that. Then he finally, because she kept saying, how do I break through to his humanity? How do I, how do I reach that part of him? Because your humanity, like, that's, that's where our compassion lies. Um, our empathy, everything. So, being able to connect with that was going to be the only way that she was going to be able to get him to listen and not see her as a threat, I guess. And I feel like it was a low blow to go for like his mom, but at the same time it was effective. So I don't, I'm not, I don't blame her for, it. I'm not holding anything against her. Um, I just know that that's a real sore spot for him. And so I really expected him to like lash out. I never expected him to be able to get that closure, like, that hole, the way to hold, close up that hole in his chest and meet the one who created it. 
you know, meet them again, face them again, and he was able to. And you know what? It wasn't really his mom. It was a parasite with the face of his mother. So I guess that works, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe it's both, his mom and the, the fact that a parasite used her, her body, her face, and he had to kill her. Um, anyway, so, yeah, we, we see, we get confirmation, you know, it was, it was implied, or like teased, that they're capable of feeling something, feeling emotion, or having emotions, feeling them, um, and that there was like these little moments with all these other characters right like with with Migi with with uh, Ryoko but like she she actually had a moment where like she was it was just it wasn't just a little like a sparing like moment it was it, it was a full on human to human kind of moment like she was just it was a genuine vulnerable moment where she she felt so much i mean she cared for that kid that child she wanted nothing other than to protect it and she even said like she kept telling herself all this time like oh i'm gonna do something with it i'm gonna experiment on it like almost like she was trying to like fool herself into thinking like well there's no way like she was in denial the, in the fact that like she had these human emotions that but maybe it wasn't really denial maybe it was just more like she didn't really know like she's still trying to figure herself out and maybe she finally like figured it out it clicked for her again they all have to decide their own purpose but her purpose she decided was to i guess like raise and like protect that child and like be a mother and it was a beautiful moment i don't know i just thought it was a beautiful moment like she didn't she didn't want anything else other than to protect the baby she didn't attack the other humans she outright admits like hey i'm not perfect i've killed 38 humans not all of them were necessary not all of them were just for food you know um and i could i can get by on just human food so you know it's not like i had to kill to eat but i did she owns up to her I don't want to say their mistakes because, like I said, again, it's like telling, like, a human, like, okay, you can't eat meat the rest of your life. You can only have tofu. Like, why? Well, because you'd be kind of a piece of shit, like, you're killing animals, which, that's certainly a perspective. Um, I mean, I don't want to, anyway, I'm, not. I'm just saying, it's not really fair. Like, you know what I mean? And they're just a food source. I mean, now, if they were going out and killing people for sport, that's different. Then, that, yeah, that's different. <laughs> um, but, anyway, she owns, she owns up to the fact that not all of them were for food. So, she's made some m mistakes. Um, but that, she's not proud of it. And she's like, we're like two halves of a whole, you know. We, we can't survive alone. Like, we, we need each other. Like, not uh, need each other but like they need a host like be like just like humans depend on one another so do parasites like they depend on humans as well um like her baby her her baby depended on her um are us humans like what adds and fulman alchemists like like what makes us strong is like we can rely on each other where we when, when things get hard if we can't pick ourselves up on our own like we have good people around us to help us do that, you know what I mean? And that's true, we do, and, uh, yeah, I don't mean, sorry. I feel like I'm not making sense in my thoughts, but, um, yeah, like, I just, I don't know, I just liked that moment of vulnerability between them, and the, like, fact that, like, Shinichi was able to see her as something other than just a parasite, like, he saw her as a mother trying to protect her child, and there, there was just, there was, nothing other than selflessness in that moment she really wasn't even thinking of herself i mean look how many shots she took she let herself she sacrificed herself for that baby she really did i mean not that they were gonna kill the baby but you know what i mean like she in, in any other situation she would have she would have sacrificed herself for the kid like if someone said we won't kill the kid if you give yourself up she would have done it you know
and then like giving the baby over to him like please like like i don't know like raise it well like kind of thing i really thought shinichi and, and murano were gonna raise that freaking kid maybe i shouldn't have said that they're high school students but i'm just kind of like well i guess now the police will take the baby and it'll be adopted but and it was like so sad like the baby the baby cries oh of course you're crying you just lost your mother it's like him he was sad when he lost his mom and like finally he could like show he, he's grieved her all this time but like he could finally show it he was able to cry again and then tying back to the whole hey will you be back shinichi and like oh are you back now you're back it's like my tears are and like he feels like that was such a like i said that was such a big part of him his humanity to him like losing the ability to cry i felt like he lost a big part of his humanity or what made him human um which is important to him because he doesn't want to be a monster he doesn't he wants to be he doesn't want to lose himself he, he's terrified of that of, of becoming a monster parasite um which now we know though like just because you're a parasite it doesn't make you a monster Shinichi. um so yeah like he he's he's finally healed a little bit you know like he got that closure and and i'm so happy that he's able to cry again because i know how important that was to him and that had to be a, like a big relief for him and like maybe i don't know i wonder how he's going to be like affected by that like here on out now that he can cry again like what i don't know i just want to know how it's going to affect him mentally from like from now on how he's going to approach things or the way he'll deal with things or be affected by certain things i don't know um will he be a bit more emotional again i don't know we'll see but then like i forgot also her comment like don't be like so rough on us like don't kill us indiscriminately you know like if we're out here like killing humans like unnecessarily or whatever or maybe even just like killing humans at all because she she admitted we don't need them to eat so maybe it's like hey if you find a vegetarian parasite maybe don't kill them because really like i don't know maybe they haven't done anything to deserve being murdered then again just because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean you don't go out and murder people just for fun for kicks i'm just saying you know like mm, dig a little deeper like don't just kill them at first glance type thing um she, she's pretty much telling him like show us a little bit of compassion like you would show your a fellow human because we're not that different from you you know i don't know man that was a good moment i like that i really just all around loved that this episode you were guys you guys were right i don't know i think it was sebastian in the comments in the live stream earlier saying like hooey girl it's a good one <laughs> and it was a good one it was sad it was in sad and, and sweet and <sighs> a bit overwhelming in certain moments because it was just like oh my god like oh my god wait this but oh my god but that oh my god oh! it was just a wow at once i it was just i was overwhelmed with emotion my god like this this kid uh but now i'm worried about him with the police i really don't know how this is gonna go i'm hope no nah, i can't even say i'm hoping he'll get out of it i just hope that they don't make him like that they don't force him to work for them like if you don't help us hunt down other parasites we're gonna murder you because then you're a threat. Like, I don't know, you know? <laughs> like, I hope they don't take it to that extreme, but... No, I mean, the, the detective... Is he a detective? I don't know his title. I mean, I think he's a good dude. So I hope he won't do anything. And his dad's there, too. I hope they keep them in, like, witness protection or some shit. <laughs> or at least his dad, because... Oh, God, if these other parasites try to come for him. Like, she's... And the other thing, she said she created um i forgot his name was it mitsuki or something? i can't remember but that guy that other parasite she's like hey dude if he was the one that was in control you'd be dead by now oh and by the way i created him he's invincible oh my god don't try to fight him like how do you take that guy down i guess you can't do it alone you gotta work with the police and with that mm, psychotic criminal i don't know not like i'm not throwing shade at the fact that he's a criminal it's just like i shouldn't have said that that psychotic criminal that sounds rude as fuck but that psycho <laughs> he is so crazy and you know i don't mind crazy characters but like bro 
that was scary at the end. Like, the way he looked at him, I'm still shaken a bit by that. And then the fact that he... Okay. <laughs> anyway, and then he, like, fell asleep after doing that. Oh, guess I used up all my energy. Tell him to look me in the eye. Directly in the eye. <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> I was, like, losing my voice there. Directly in the eye. <laughs> okay, dude. Anyway, I'll shut the fuck up so that I can get this up on Patreon for you guys. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, early access, yes, they're all up there on Patreon before they're on YouTube, then you can catch that on my Patreon, and the link for that is in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. And yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.